Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome back and in this video I am here to show you how to use McCart's Nail Art Foil Glue to apply your stamping decal. And this is such a great idea, I'm serious. You put this over your decal and then cure it and then stamp your decal onto your fingernail. You don't have to worry about only part of your decal stamping or anything like that. It's all going to stamp and stick to your nail. And now it's time for me to show you how it's done. First of all, I need to show you the plate that I used. I have had this plate for a couple years now. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name there, but it is plate number 23. I will have a link in the description box for you. It is on eBay for $2.80 free shipping. I used the image of the girl's face. I also used in this set POW. I used some of the dots as well. So yeah, this is a really nice plate. I mean, I love all the images on here. I am really into the cartoons and comic book look right now. Here is what the nail stamping decal looks like. I have done a video of these before. If you want to watch that video, you can follow the arrow. And here I am showing you the girl's face. That is the same face that I have on the stamper. So essentially to do a stamping decal, you just stamp the design on your stamper and then you fill it in with different colors of stamping polish. And that's what it looks like once you have it all filled in. And once you turn it around here, this is what the image will look like when it's stamped onto your nail. And here's the other decal that I made, same image, but different colors. And if you look at them side by side, you can see how I changed the hairline. I actually removed parts of the hairline and added parts just by using black stamping polish and a brush and just went around and again, changed her hairline use different colors so that's pretty easy to do the girl's skin tone will be dependent on what color you paint your nail and I have painted my nail a medium skin tone and I also use the little dotted image onto my fingernail and that way it'll give it that comic strip look and now it's time to apply the nail art foil glue to the decal how I do this is I just take the foil gel and I apply it all over the decal making sure I coat every inch of the decal and by doing this I am turning this decal into a sticker okay and then I will cure this in the lamp for one minute and then apply it on top of my nail And now I just line it up to where I want it on my nail and you better make sure that's where you want it because that's it. You don't get any second chances with this. It's, it's over and done with, so yeah. And once I just stick it on the nail, it just sticks perfectly, very well. I'm really impressed by this. I'm just using this tool here to kind of cut through the excess that's hanging over. You can also use a small pair of scissors to do that. And then I just use my tweezers here and just pull that excess off. Now I come in with a brush and some acetone and I do some cleanup around the edges. And don't forget to flip your finger over and clean the underside too because a lot of times there's polish under that too. Then I come in with a 400 fine grit file and just finish up those edges. And now it will be time to top coat. I am using a matte top coat and this one is by the Born Pretty Store. I find it to be one of the better ones out there. And I have a coupon code for you too for 20% off if you wanna get yourself some matte top coat. The link to the top coat will be in the description box below. 
so check it out. Once top coating is complete, I will cure this for one minute. And this is the end of the video. These are the finished nails. I only did five. I wish I would have did 10 because I love them that much. I love the comic strip style nails. I actually got some new comic strip plates in. Can't wait to show you those and use them. Now this set here was my Valentine nails. They were kind of like anti-Valentines. Not because I don't have a Valentine, but I just got the inspiration from the Band-Aid that was on my pinky. That was my broken nail. And I was being funny and I painted a Band-Aid on it. But then I got to thinking, wow, that could be representing a broken heart with a Band-Aid on it. Hey, go for anti-Valentines. So that's what I did. And I painted a heart with an X through it. But yeah, I really like them. I love how they turned out. Let me know what you think. Do you like them? And give me a thumbs up if you do. Comment below, tell me what you think, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.